the idea for today is to demonstrate. So they'll be demonstrating the language of the horse as well as how to meet the horse, give the horse a voice and show you some methods that are gentle and kind communication techniques. To so I contacted her. Um, it took a couple of months for you to come out, but, um, but she made it out. And, and then I went to a class a few months later. And I get to the, it's a, it was a three day class. I think that the three day class is amazing, amazing, amazing class. And uh, at the end of day two, she pulls me aside and she's like, I think you should go to the two-week class. And, I'm, and she basically threatened with, I'm going to make you cry like a baby. And so I did the two-week class. The, I don't know that I did cry on the two-week class. <laughs> There's a little out there. And I don't know exactly where he came from, but he was very stunted, and he was starving, and the guy that owned him didn't want him any longer, and the girl that was, I was 13, I guess, and she would take me out there, she was 18, and we'd go ride her horse, and I was always looking at this little guy, and he was just a wreck, he really was, but um, he spoke to me, and Diablo, and I nicknamed him Hot Stuff out of the comic book, Hot Stuff, the little devil, <laughs> and he was, he was a stud, and he was knocking up all the mares in the pasture, and everybody was pretty pissed off, so he was going to the feedlot, and I got him, and I gentled him, and just surfing around online, found Anna's website, found myself nodding my head a lot, ooh, I've said that before, and my mom calls. And she's like, what you doing? I told her about the website. <coughs> about a week later, my mom called and said, I signed you up. I got you an airplane ticket. <laughs> and I said, Wait. to what? <laughs> and she goes, reach out to horses. And I was like, what? But, oh, yeah. Okay. So I dove in. Head, yeah. Good mom. <laughs> dove in head first and uh, stayed with a friend in Loveland, Colorado during it. And <laughs> was exhausted. It was one of the most exhausting two weeks of my life. She has just kids everywhere. So I was working the horses and coming home and being crawled on. But it's just snow. I your horses, um, and I didn't know what to do with them. So I basically hung out with them, walked them, checked out a couple of trainers, and didn't like it. And take my leg and kick it into their bodies. And it's like, no, 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 I don't want to do that. So we finally found Anna on the internet. thing she did was it was just different from what I've seen and, and then she did a few animal communication sessions and that really was very impressive so I signed up for the animal communication course in Arizona which was I met her in 2009 I have to say that so it's a couple of years ago um, and she same thing like with Adam she tried to convince me to go to a two-week uh, course in Connecticut which I thought about a long time, but then finally decided the opportunity to learn what your horse is familiar with, is afraid of, is how they how they learn. It, it sets up a. You can see that she's stepping on it. You have no intention of getting so it'll. Elaine has now decided that Colton does not get the gate. We're going to pay attention to the game for a little bit. Perfect example of a horse. How she was pushing and guiding body towards that direction and also to that direction. So from this point, in, from her being on the side over there, she can push and pull the horse. 
as he is and as young as he is, I wanted to do as much of it at a walk. around a couple times and I held him over here. He got away once and I brought him back. It was when he went through that aisle way at the walk that I was like, hello, welcome. We can do this and we can have fun. And I feel like he did start to have fun. Come off pressure. And it's a nice and easy, casual way to do it. <laughs> where she's engaged, involved, and hopefully having fun. So there's our farrier stretch. So this gets her ready to put her hoof on the stand. And often if they've never done that before, you'll see them investigate their own leg. I mean, the leather feel different to them or is it more for, for holding the leg? The leather will be to hold the leg mm -hmm. and to give you just a little bit of grip. It will also be softer for them than that yeah. rope, which will have the edge. There we go. So he's quite close to the shoulder and then putting the foot there. Done good, nice and soft. Keep them soft, that's it. Nice job. Nice job. He's afraid to like it. And get my knuckle in her ear on both sides pretty much. She's getting there. Suggesting he was thinking of going in and if Adam goes all the way to the front of that trailer and underneath the bar it will create the room for the colt to make the decision if he does it too boldly he would come back out if he does it smoothly there's a chance that he would walk right in that it's forward suggestion with the intention of going in and that I think was the difference for Adam so dependent on the horses and I think everyone adjusted that really well. So watch it in action what she talks about and mm -hmm. it's just really evident how much you guys embody that and it's also really cool to see your each of you have an individual different presence with the horses but it's all you're all so gentle and there's just truly a, a connection there that you make really quickly with each of the horses so that was really cool to see. All of you are going to be successful I'm going to say just do a great job. I mean, you give from your heart, and oh man, you taught me so much. I think you're all incredible human beings to begin with. I definitely see Anna's influence on you, and that's a wonderful thing. And just watching your expertise, your comfortability, your love, the way you are with the horses was, it's, it's just great to sit back and watch you go through it rather than being in it, you know, <laughs> because it's, it becomes, it, it's a lot of integration for me, just being able to see it in hand. Thank you very much. Thank Congratulations. Um, watching you today, this morning, um, to this afternoon was really fun for me because I saw your confidence come up, and when your confidence came up, your expertise, your knowledge, everything just started flowing. And I think that was really, really cool to see you guys really confident and working together as a team and, you know, individually. I just, yeah. I'm proud of you guys. No, seriously, look around. I mean, and for us, <coughs> you're an inspiration. Yeah. You're an inspiration yeah. to all of us who are new equine practitioners, who are new to the equine world and, you know, what's it all about for me? What can I do? Um, you're a huge, um, I don't know what the word is, for Anna to know that you're going to take her message out there and um, that must feel really great you know, inside and again I think you guys are an inspiration for what's coming in this you know, new decade of people who work with horses.